has written. So other pieces that you've been deeply involved with of hers? The, uh, the Symphony for Violas and Double Basses, which I believe was originally dedicated to the sculptor Henry Moore. Um, was one, another Do you know anything behind that story? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't uh, either. It, I mean, it's quite possible that she would have encountered his work at Tanglewood, I think. Is there a work of his on the I, on I the don't campus? recall it, but I would almost be surprised if there weren't. I don't quite recall. I think it was crossed out, or that it, in some list it's uh, mentioned that it's dedicated to him. He may have, I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I can't speculate. But the, the work is, uh, makes wonderful and extreme demands on violas and double basses, and they never get to play as main voices in string orchestra. Usually they're surrounded by uh, mollifying influences. No, but it's kind of wonderful because in, in, when, when we're doing our sessions, the violas swing all the way around, and now our principal viola is in the concertmaster chair. That's fantastic. Yes. That doesn't happen so often. And then the basses come all the way forward to center stage. That never happens. Yeah. So it, it's a wonderful spotlight on um, instruments that we normally think of as being in service, and here they are now uh, playing the leading role. Yeah. And it's a very, it's a very intense, active, muscular piece full of great. Uh, variety and texture. And uh, when we premiered it um, at the University of Pittsburgh and I, my conducting assistant, Cody Spinner, who was uh, particularly interested in spiritualist musical practice, spiritualistic musical practice, and uh, communities, pacifist communities, like the Harmony, uh, uh, I believe that's what it's called, a community in Pennsylvania. Uh, and is a bassoonist, so she also plays a bass instrument. This is, all of this somehow seems connected. Gave a, uh, she conducted it, and I got to play with my violas, because oh, it's two yeah. viola sections and later divides into three. Right. Yeah. Helen Walker Hill, in her book, says it can be played by two violas and two basses. Her book is fantastic and our, our best resource and thoroughly mm -hmm. researched. But in fact, at one point, it divides into three violas, so it, it can't actually be done by two viola players. And, and in our version, we, in our performance, we have many and mm -hmm. many basses. And uh, I think it probably could be done successfully quite small or, mm -hmm. or quite large. But it's very challenging. And um, it has this obsessive rhythmic stuff going on a lot. It has the reach of minor ninths or major sevenths and that type of thing, which is really almost part of her signature language, yes. meaning not actually octaves, which feel resting and pleasing, mm -hmm. but this tension involved in, in just one note away from an octave, um, characteristic of her voice. Um, and something else that we see in other works of hers, the, the middle section comes almost to a complete stop. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's stasis. And you have no idea where this thing is going. But, um, and we, don't, we always have the impression with Julia Perry that the mind is always active. There is a depth in the silence. When things slow down, it's like things are opening up. And then when things are active, it's like there's a greater brightness and a greater energy, but behind that, there's this silence that's sort of in the memory. It's, uh, that is, uh, my bass has struggled with it because it's a virtuoso, I mean, oh, it uses the entire bass. So and, challenging. and the rhythms are so uh, quick that the strings barely have time, the long, heavy bass strings barely have time to recover from playing one note before they have to go on to the next. The violas were, uh, I just asked them to throw themselves at the music and not worry about it, and they ended up playing with greater precision because it's beautifully written for the viola. And, and from yesterday's uh, reading, I thought the basses were really enjoying the work too. Absolutely. They really, it felt the like they were in their element. What a, what a strong section. Yeah.